Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue. I'm the Black Powder Editor for Guns of the Old West Magazine. And today we're going to be shooting one of my flintlock rifles. This is a 40 caliber. It was actually built by me, and when you see the close-ups you'll understand why I don't make these things for a living. But this is my squirrel gun. It's fun to shoot. and You know, let's, uh, let's take a look at it. This is my 40 caliber flintlock rifle. I built this myself. Uh, probably around 1992, I guess. Uh, believe it or not, I made about a dozen of these things. This is the only one I've got left. I'll show you some of the features. I, I'm going to tell you right now. I am no master craftsman at this stuff, uh, which is why I pretty much gave up building them and just started buying them. But, uh, but let's take a look at this, and then we'll go shoot it. Well, I tried to do this rifle pretty much in... Uh, J.P. Beck style. Um, so it has a, a pretty straight comb. Now this is a Lancaster County style patch box and, and what I do with this, I'll just open it up. This is not the best way to make a patch box, I'll tell you that. Uh, but inside I keep a little cleaning jag so that I've always got the right size jag with me on this thing. And that's just a little extra that always stays right in here. Oops, no, I got cloth showing. Now this gun has double set triggers, which I can show you. So the rear trigger sets the front trigger into kind of a hair trigger configuration. And we've got a few inlays on this. You go up the stock, we can just show you. So we've got, yeah, we've got a few of these for the keys. Of course, the thimbles and the two most important parts of these rifles the barrel, which in this case is a uh, 40 caliber. 13 16 inch octagonal green mountain barrel and the lock which was one of Dur Dixie's early Lancaster County style locks uh, and the way flint locks operate is priming powder goes in the pan and when that goes off it communicates to the main charge and fires everything this piece is called the frizzin covers the uh, the priming up and provides a sparking surface for the flint this is called the cock it holds the flint and then the way these work is you pull a rear trigger to set the front trigger and just touch it and bang, gun fires. So let's load it up and... Uh... Here's what I carry in uh, my 40 caliber flintlock shooting bag. You notice I don't carry a powder horn with this rifle. I use this horn. It's very small, but holds enough powder to go squirrel hunting. This measure throws a 40 grain charge, so this is what I use to load. This old deerskin bag holds round balls. And we're using .390 round balls with pillow ticking as patching. This little tin holds grease for the patches. And this is the patching material. We'll cut it at the muzzle. I've got a little tin uh, here that holds spare flints. This tin holds some cleaning patches. And then this little horn holds priming powder. So let's load it up and uh, then we can shoot it. Uh, let's load up the 40 caliber flint lock. We're, we're gonna start by putting in a charge of powder. So I'm gonna get my little little horn out and pour a uh, 40 grain charge of 3F black powder and we'll just drop that right down the muzzle now I'm going to get one of my round balls out 
I really like these little bags that I use for round balls. With the spout, it's a lot easier than uh, having to go dig around in a drawstring bag. Okay, so we're not going to load that straight in. We are going to get it started first on a grease patch. So I've got my patch of material here, which I've greased on my black powder lube. I'm just going to pop that over the muzzle. I'll back it up a little bit so I'm not wasting a whole lot. Put the ball over it. And this is called a short starter. It's got uh, a little nub that you use to get the ball started and then a longer leg to get it down a few inches in the barrel. So first thing I'm going to do is just whack it to get it started. Then I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to cut that patch off right at the muzzle. So voila, we end up with holes like that and we've got the ball started in the muzzle. Now I'm going to send it down a few inches to get it sized into the rifling. And once we've done that, then it's a lot easier to uh, ram it all the way home. The wrong tip on there. So I'll just send it all the way down. And there we go. And we're ready to we're ready to roll. The only thing left to do now is to prime the pan, but I'll do that at the firing line. Now, this style of rifle with its patch box and inlays and small caliber uh, really is not an 18th century style rifle. I mean, maybe the very late 1790s, but this would have been uh, more of a golden age style uh, for the first two decades of the 19th century. So these days with the bicentennial of the War of 1812, this is actually a fairly appropriate piece. And we've got Evil Roy hanging out uh, 50 yards downrange, and he's a little bit bigger than the squirrels I usually shoot at. So hopefully I'll be able to hit him. Prime it, close the pan, put it on full cock, set the trigger, and let's see. Get him. Now with a rifle, I like to swab the bore between shots, and you can do that by spitting on a patch. Yeah, there's lots of ways. I'm a little unconventional about it. I like to use these alcohol swabs, and I know this isn't period correct, uh, but it sure is handy. You just pull these things out. These are You can buy these in any drugstore for swabbing injection sites and that sort of thing. And the reason I like it is because it's wet, so it cleans out the barrel, but the alcohol evaporates very quickly. So we get all that dirty gunk out of the barrel and we're ready to load the next shot. Well, let's try the 40 caliber on a uh, two liter water bottle, see how we do. I didn't catch that last bottle as good as I like to. Let's let's see if we can get it a little closer to center this time. <laughs> you probably couldn't see it on the video, but that cap went straight up in the air, I don't know, 20 feet at least, before it came down. It was pretty cool. Well, 
since I hit that last two liter bottle dead center, let's see if I can step it down and take out a one liter with the old 40 cal. Got him.